Hello guys, Soft Tony here and today we're going to create this black and white way background here in After Effects. It's very easy to create and you can use it for your own intros, logos, promos and so many more. So without wasting any more time, let's begin. Alright, we're here in After Effects and first, like always, let's create a new composition, Control or Command plus N or this little icon. This is gonna be final composition, 9020 by 1080, 30 frames per second and duration I will leave it to around 15 seconds. Hit OK and now let's create our shape layer, go here on this uh, little icon, rectangle tool, shortcut is Q, make sure that our fill is set to solid color and stroke to none and now just double click here on this rectangle tool icon, OK. And as you can see, now we have this shape layer. I will rename this one to wave 01 like this, then open up this rectangle one rectangle path and uncheck this constraint proportion option and type here 3840 by 3840. And now, as you can see, we have a larger square in our final scene. Okay, now let's add our first effect, but before that hit R for rotation and I will do 45 degrees. Okay, now go here in the Facts and Preset and if you can find the Facts and Preset, just go Window and you will find it here. Type Fill Effect, okay, drag and drop onto our Wave 1 and change color according your needs. I will do for this particular tutorial white colors or gray colors, hit OK and then hit P for position and move it to around maybe you can also hit V on your keyboard and drag and drop something like this, okay. Now go here again in the facts and preset, type here turbulent displace, drag and drop onto our wave 01 and here let's make a few adjustments. For the amount let's type also 100 and here you can play around with the shape, I will do maybe twist and also you can play around with the offset option in every moment, something like this. Ok, now let's animate evolution, hold alt on your keyboard and then click here on this evolution option and type here time asterisk 100. If you want to see slower animation, just type lower number. If you want to see faster animation, just type higher number. And now when we hit zero, we have this type of movement. Let's readjust our offset a bit more like so. Okay. And now in our finals, we have this kind of animation. Now let's add our next effect. This is going to be drop shadow. Okay. Drag and drop here in the scene. And for the distance, let's type here 10, softness to around 20, duplicate this once. And for the distance, type here 20 and softness maybe to around 100. Okay, now let's duplicate this wave 01, hit Ctrl plus D or go edit and then duplicate. Move this wave 02 below our wave 01, hit P for position and move this X parameter on the right side according your need. Ok, this is looking cool to me, you can of course change colors, I will do different shape of this grey color, hit ok, then hit Ctrl plus D once again, move it below our wave 02, hit P for position, repeat the process, like so, change the color to maybe this type of white color, hit Ctrl plus D once again, move it below, repeat everything, duplicate this as many times as you want, like so, Peep for position, like this, once again, maybe we will do around 8 or 9 times, once again, position, ok, hit Ctrl plus D, hit P, and maybe once again to have 9 waves here in our final scene. This is looking cool to me, you can readjust here in the every moment our waves, just hit P or move this to the left or the right side. And now let's readjust the colors, shades, something like this, ok, for the wave 4, different type, and then just hit ok. Now hit Ctrl plus A and then go right click to pre-compose everything, I will just rename this to BG01, hit ok. And now, as you can see in our finals, we have this cool animation of our shapes. 
Okay, now hit Ctrl plus D here on our background 01 to duplicate this one, then go here in the facts and preset, find here, find edges effect, drag and drop onto our first composition. And here you can also play around with the option. If you go here, invert option, you will get something like this. You can also render out this type of background. Also, this is looking cool. But for this particular tutorial, I will do blending mode, maybe overlay, hit T for opacity to around 40%. And this is looking awesome. If you can find blending modes, just hit here, toggle switches and modes to see blending modes. Okay, this is width and this is without our find edges effect. Now what we can do is to add our adjustment layer, go right click to create new adjustment layer. This is gonna be noise. Okay, now go here in the facts and preset, find here noise HLS, drag and drop onto our adjustment layer and type 3% for the hue, lightness and saturation. Okay, now let's create another adjustment layer, go right click, find here new adjustment layer. This is gonna be spotlight, okay. Go in the facts and preset again, find CC spotlight effect, drag and drop onto our adjustment layer. And here you can play around with the options. Okay, for the intensity, let's go to around 60%, edge softness to around 100 and cone angle to around 50%. And also you can readjust the points, something like this. And then hit control plus D to duplicate and just move this second point to around here to create something like a vignette. Okay, you can also add curves, go right click, find here new adjustment layer. This is gonna be curves adjustment layer. Okay, then go here in the facts and preset again and find curves effect. And basically you can play around with the darker shades, whiter parts of the scene, or you can darker or lighten our scene according your needs and now when we hit zero in our finals we have this cool and creative background and as you can see everything here is up to you to adjust this cool scene all right guys that was everything for today's tutorial hope you learned something new in this one if you haven't subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button also leave me a like if you found this video helpful, take a look on my channel for even more great tutorials, all the links, my portfolios and everything else is in the description. Also leave me a comment down below in the comment section and until next time, stay creative and bye bye!